everybody, Tom Wyman Girl 7 here for TWG7 Sings Week in Review, and it was another epic week. I mean, how many epic weeks can you get in a row? I don't know. I haven't reached the end of them yet. I will let you know when and if I do. So, let's take a look at what happened this week to make it so dang epic. And I know. I said that I would have these out on Saturday, and it's Sunday. But, if you have seen my channel lately, you'll see why. I have been very busy. I haven't been slacking at all. So let's see what I was doing when I wasn't slacking. Uh, well, I'm going to start with last Saturday, because I do not recall if this song ended up in last week's Week in Review. So, what song is it? Stronger than me. You should be stronger than me. You've been here seven years longer than me. Don't you know you're supposed to be the man? And you know what? Even if it did, I really like the song, so I hope you enjoyed it. Now, on Sunday, I did something very unique, especially for me. I've been stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit lately, and uh, I like it there. So, what did I do? I submitted to Michael Fire Jr.'s B-roll, and my entry has a little problem with it, and I'm going to tell you what it is. I took my B-roll on 360. It's a 360 video, but the only place that you can see it as it's intended to be seen is on my channel. If you go to Michael's channel, where you will need to go eventually to vote in the brackets, um, but, you know, what happened was the minute you take 360 footage and you edit it with footage that is not 360, it loses all its metadata. That's what makes it a 360 video. And by losing all of that, you lose the entire feel of what I did. Because I took the footage, which was very bland and plain, and I did it with the 360, and I did it in a way that I think it came out pretty great. What do you guys think? Here it is. Well, that's a piece of it, because I'm not going to show you the whole, it's only 30 seconds, but we're going to move on. You ready? Here we go. Now, on Monday, I once again stepped out of my comfort zone, and I sang my version, because it's my version, of House of the Rising Sun. What do you think? I love singing the song. I just really love the song. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my version too. Now, next thing I, that I did this week, remember we're in the middle of a makeover here. There's going to be all sorts of new things going on, new thumbnails, new video intros, and even a new channel intro. Here's a piece of my new channel intro. Hi everybody, my name's Time Wimey Girl 7, and I would like to welcome you to TWG7 Sings. As you look around my channel, you'll notice that I call my subscribers wild ones. Why do I do that? Because I feel that if you are doing everything you can within your ability to live your dream and be the best you you can be, then you're a wild one, just like me. I had to continue on with the Snapchat. It's my personality, and I think that it shines through. Now, the next song that I sang, I definitely stressed over just a little bit. It, it wasn't so much stress. It was just that, like I was explaining to Jay, um, certain artists, especially when they're singing more difficult songs, I have a huge amount of respect for them. 
and I don't want to put forth my version if it's not sounding well. If it doesn't sound good, I don't feel like it's um, honoring them, and I really would like to honor them when I do a cover. I'm not trying to, you know, put something out that people hate. So, yeah, I sang it six times. I saved four of them, and then I went through frame by frame, listening to each little piece to make sure that I got it right. So I hope that you enjoy Someone Like Me. I've heard that you settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. Now, speaking of Jay, we have officially named the live stream Timey's Pool Party. That being said, Timey, me, I do different things each time I have a pool party. One time I'm just answering some questions. I have a guest on to interview all about music. Even if their channel doesn't involve music, those are the people that I want to interview the most right now, at the moment. Does not mean that I'm not going to get to everybody whose channel is about music, because that I want to do too. I have big plans. And they're just part of building a community, really. Especially when it comes to music, I would like to be able to show how music binds us all together, every single one of us. And I think that by interviewing people who their channel's not about music, but they have some musical talent, they have um, an inclination towards music, those people along with the people whose channels are about music, I think that we can show that music touches everyone. And I want to have some fun doing it. So uh, my first guest was whom? <sighs> did you miss it? I'm sorry, because we had a lot of fun. We really did. And I think it went off pretty dang good. Jay Lipman. Friday nights, you know, at my dad's house, sitting in the living room, my dad would be singing us songs with his guitar, you know, and, uh, I know that memory. Yeah. <laughs> Puff the Magic Dragon was a common one. Yes. In my house. Every Friday. Puff the Magic Dragon. Every Friday. That and, uh, what was it? This Land? Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. This Land is your land. This Land is my, that one. Yeah. I have a big memory. I might have that one too. Yeah. Wait, do we have the same dad and we don't know it? That would be so weird. You know, let me just, I'm just going to switch brains here real quick. I'm yeah. going to switch brains into my, into my marketing brain. Go for it. Everything is still word of mouth. Everything is still word of mouth. It's just the word of mouth has gone from like in person to the internet. Hi mom. My mom's here, Jay. Jay, please meet my mother. Mother, please meet Jay. Hi, Mom. I mean, he's a great guy, he's a great friend, and he's a fantastic member of this community. So, it was my pleasure to interview the one, the only, Jay Lipman. I, you know, I will not look to top anybody's interview, by the way. I will look to continue from this moment forward to have amazing conversations with people. Um, if you have a musical inclination, if you have music in your past and it's not what your channel's about, please reach out to me because I would love to find out more about you and to get you on my show. Which, by the way, we don't have an official name for it yet. I need to think about this one because um, I'm still working on that one. It's, of course, Timey's Pool Party, but I'm talking subtitles here now. Speaking of um, my Thursdays, I realized that the way I was explaining the schedule might be a little confusing, especially when I was confusing myself sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a schedule right here in the description as soon as I get the right calendar. I'm looking for a calendar that I can put a background on so it looks really nice and that is online that I can then link to my channel or embed in below here so that you guys can see what's going on what day what guests are coming on what guests are coming up you can even there's a possibility you might be able to subscribe to the calendar so that 
you can set your own reminders when these things are coming up and you don't miss the interviews then. Our next guest here at Timey's Pool Party is going to be Pusha Studios. Now that's going to be next month. Um, and right after that one, I do believe it's going to be Quip 6. So please, everybody, calm down, have some fun. Because it's absolutely going to be, I will, like I said, the calendar is going up very soon. Next thing that I did, because I wasn't done with my week, of course not. Why would I? Why would it stop? So here we go, and we're going to move right on to Friday now. And on Friday, it is TGIF, and you know we had to celebrate. We got through this week. And this week had some bumps along the way, had some fantastic moments, had some epic moments, but it also had some sadness and it had some uh, frustration and it had some anger and you know what, it was just time to move on and let it all go. So I let it all go and I did my best to give everybody an opportunity to have some fun. And the song that I chose, it wasn't any huge musical achievement. It just was a lot of fun. And the song was Jump in the Line. My girl's name is Sonora. I tell you, friends, I adore her. And when she dances, oh, brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. Rocky body in time. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed that. And then this weekend, I'm a crazy lady, and what did I do? I had, count them, not one, not two, but three, which I can't do with my fingers for some weird reason. Three <laughs> unboxings. Three of them. Three unboxings this weekend, and I had my FabFitFun boxing yesterday, today. We started the morning with Ipsy and then we led into the afternoon with Boxy Charm. So, if you're interested in seeing what I received, so that maybe you could see what you might receive, please feel free to look through them. If you just like watching unboxings, check them out. If you are interested in actually getting any of these boxes, each one of them has a, dis a link in the description below. I do get something for fab fit fun but so do you you get ten dollars off so it's a fair trade there you know so if you're interested please check it out um the links are in the description oh yeah one last thing uh, actually there's two things i'm sorry um one of those things that happened this week is really upsetting it's it's heartbreaking really and i need your help with this badly please because I, I can't see him I can't see him doing this he's killing himself he's not sleeping he's worried sick constantly Piney is missing Michael Fire Jr. Piney is like his it's his, his mascot it's his buddy he's always there and he's missing so if you see him here on YouTube please let us know because we're looking for piney and somebody told me he was in one of my videos recently over this weekend and i didn't see him like if he was here i had, don't know where he was i did not see him so like keep an eye out for him and like i said if you see him please let us know let michael know so michael can find him we need to bring piney home Thank you so much, guys, for listening. The last thing that I did was on Smool Nation, I did another one of my favorites, Tennessee Whiskey. Brought me back from me and to forgotten. You're a smooth it's Tennessee Whiskey. So guys, that is the music for this week. That is the interviews for this week. That is the B-roll for this week. That is the unboxings for this week. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye for now. Rock on, my wild ones. Rock on. Oh, and if you see Piney, tell Michael.